Hey guys, today's episode is what I eat on keto and a full day of low carb diet coming up next. Hey guys, I'm super pumped for what I eat in a day, keto and low carb diet, my full day of keto eating. Can't wait to show you. If you find this video helpful, smash that like button, go down below and get my free keto diet weekly meal plan, my gift to you for being part of the Countess of Low Carb community. Let's go dive in. Hey friends, so I just finished wrapping up a whole bunch of filming for YouTube, and so I'm gonna go make some coffee. I haven't had anything today. I literally had some sparkling water, and I'm ready to make some coffee. So how I like to start most days is figuring out in my notebook my intentions for the day, my plan for the day. Most of y'all know I, I am an entrepreneur. I was like, get my head in the shot. I'm an entrepreneur. I run lots of different businesses. So in the morning, before I drop my little boy, coming back around. Before I drop my little boy off at school, I do um, like to get my intentions for the day figured out, figure out what I'm going to be doing, what business I'm gonna be working on, who I'm gonna be working with, if I'm working with a client, if I'm working for my own personal brand, what I'm specifically gonna be doing. So um, the mornings is my time to get that sorted out and figure out what I'm gonna do for the day and then also where my keto foods are gonna be for the day as well. So many of y'all ask, this is from my Aldi Keto Hall, and so there's salted caramel coffee. It's so good, it's so good, but it definitely does break intermittent fasting. It doesn't have sweetener in it, but it's questionable, and if anything's questionable, I leave it out. So technically today is not a fasting day for me. Um, y'all know I love intermittent fasting. Today is simply just a full day of keto eating and what I eat on keto. So I've got my scoops in there, gonna get this going. And while that's brewing up, I got new glasses for Christmas. I was, I was a good girl from Santa Claus. And these were awesome. They were apparently, my mom got them on clearance from Martha Stewart. They taste so good with my sparkling water. I use my soda stream here and then um, just pour them in here. It's my new addition, so I need to clean them out and get them set up for later tonight. I like to have my glassware ready to help prevent late night snacks and late night eating so I don't eat off the keto plan. So I'm literally just gonna put my coffee in here. I have my cool mug from Diana, thank you. One of my good friends made this for me, so if you're watching Diana, cheers. So I got coffee in there. And then normally I like to use um, a Mega Power Creamer. I will link that down below. They have awesome different flavors. I'm passing on that today because again, I want to clear out my refrigerator of a bunch of different things. I'll probably be saying that a bunch through this video. I'm really trying to clear things out um, before I do my next grocery haul, so. I'm gonna use out some of the butter that's been sitting there for a hot second. So I put that in, and then I also like using Miss Lizzie's iodine. Um, I do have thyroid issues, and iodine dramatically helps with, sorry, I had to count. <laughs> I like three to five drops of their iodine. I will link that down below. Start researching iodine if you have thyroid issues or weight loss stall issues. It's a great thing to have. And then of course, my good old handy dandy frother. I will link that down below too. Just don't shoot it on yourself, on your faux fur. So nice and frothy. I'm gonna go drink this while I start putting my intentions down and sort out my day. So I have an upcoming um, speaking engagement at General Harvest. If you guys are gonna be around on January 4th, I will put the link below if you're in Virginia or West Virginia or Maryland, would love to have you come. But I'm trying to figure out my speech. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my intentions for the day and also start figuring out my speech while I drink my keto coffee. Now that I've got my intentions sorted for the day, I'm gonna go ahead and start kicking it. I've gotta get so much done in such short time. If you have little kids, you know what I mean. I have a very finite amount for childcare in order to be productive with some of my business stuff. And I'm gonna go pick up my son and start into mom, mom mode. So I am going to have my keto lunch. I'm going to be using my Aldi 100% sliced steaks. These are zero carbs, of course organic at best. Of course grass fed is best. We normally buy our meats from a local meat CSA, but um, this is Royal Weight Loss Meats for Life. And so I'm going to be using these for my keto lunch today. You simply just pull them off. Um, it's 21 ounces of meat, so I'm not going to eat the whole thing. So I'm just going to make extras and then I'll refrigerate them for tomorrow's leftovers to have get these cooked up. I'm trying to use leftovers that I have in my um, refrigerator before I go do my next grocery shopping haul. Get 
things in there um, because I have some leftover horseradish sauce. So I'm gonna throw that in there too just so I can clean out my refrigerator a little bit. Um, I'm going to use for the wrap part of them. These were from Costco. These are my Parmesan cheese folios. These are only one carb per wrap. My friend at Booze Cruise on YouTube had recommended I get these. He said that they were really, really good. So I'm excited to try them for my wraps for my steak and cheese, my keto steak and cheese. See, they're very thin, he said, and that's an accurate statement. These suckers are really thin. Let's see if I can pull them out. I can get this off the parchment paper without breaking it. All right. Pull the parchment paper off would be my suggestion first before you start doing it. While that's cooking at Aldi, I had purchased these Crepini egg fins. They're awesome. Another booze cruise recommendation for me. They're zero carbs. I would say they're one carb probably. Um, they're just made out of eggs, whites, eggs, and cauliflower. Like it's basically it. Super, super keto clean. It also has xanthan gum in there too. Um, but these, for some reason I bought it and it's past the expiration date. I'm bummed to throw them away. And I know you can return things at Costco. I just don't have time to do that. So. I'm pitching them in the garbage can, which pains me because it was like eight bucks for that whole pack. They equate to about 50 to 75 cents per wrap, and it's um, 24 in a pack. My math may be off on that a little bit, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and flip our cheese steaks over. These are super quick to cook, which is why I love them. If, if you want literally a five minute keto meal, this is it. I just break them in half to cook them quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off the parchment paper, the wrap part. It literally feels the texture and consistency. It feels wrap-like. It's definitely thin, and I know when something hot goes on here, so I'm actually gonna pop this in the freezer just to make it not melty just yet because this is gonna make it melt, I'm, I'm guessing. As these cook, I simply just put some paper towels down. I take off what I have cooked and put them on the paper towels, and again, I'm gonna make the whole package, make it once as a time hack, and then just simply use it um, for leftovers for your next meal. It will save you a ton of time for keto meal prep if you only do the cooking once and eating it twice. So I'm literally going to just use out what I have. Keep these bad boys cooked. And I have this left leftover horseradish sauce that I want to get rid of. I'm going to melt it in here so it will be nice and ooey gooey. Feel free to use the step or not, but I didn't want to waste my leftover horseradish sauce. So I just took my wrap out of the freezer. It's not frozen, but it's definitely cool. And then that way this won't all melt on there. And this is my delicious keto lunch. Look at that good wrap. I know you want some. It's so good. I can't wait to eat it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Good keto lunch. I have to take Big Bird off though before I eat. Don't want to get Philly cheesesteak on Big Bird. It's also dog approved. It's two carb per wrap, so I'm having two for four carbs total for the day. It was so freaking good. I am so full right now. I love keto because it's the most filling thing. So I'm gonna put this away and we'll save this for tomorrow's keto lunch. If you have not signed up for my free keto meal plan, do so in the link in the description. I have a free meal plan. You can get stuff like this emailed to you for free. Hello. Let's put this in the fridge and we'll use it again tomorrow. My keto hack is make it once, eat it twice. Just got off of a work call, so I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. And I'm gonna use my soda stream um, to make carbonated water. We don't buy Pellegrino or Perrier anymore because we make our own sparkling water. And I literally just put it in here. I'll make it, excuse our royal weight loss meets real life dirty sink. And literally just make our own through this. Just clamp it down, push the button. Wait till it pops. There it popped. And then that's how you know how you make your own sparkling water. It smells like a space station when you're done. And I'll drink on this for the next hour or so while I wrap up some warp stuff.
Cheers. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my keto crab cakes for dinner, the easiest recipe ever. It's so super simple. If I can do it, you can do it. And we're gonna make leftovers to freeze and flash freeze for later. Again, Royal Weight Loss Meets Real Life. I don't want to have to cook dinner a multiple times. So if I cook a keto dinner, I'll make one and then flash freeze it or eat it for leftovers the next day. This recipe, I am able to flash freeze it. So uh, I'm gonna do that. I am getting my pan set to be heated on um, medium heat. She's like ready for some. Now I've taken these out and I'm gonna scoop them into a third a cup um, and put them on the plate so I can simply just fry them. And I literally just take a third of cup and make little mixtures, put them on the plate so then I can just fry them up. You could flash freeze the remaining amounts and just simply put them on a piece of parchment paper and put them into the freezer to broil them next time or like reheat them again next time. We will eat them all, but you could do that. I need a little pick-me-up, so I'm gonna go get some Starbucks right now. I'm sorry about that. What can I get started for you? No worries. Can I please get a Trenta iced green tea with no plastic? Anything else for you? That's it. Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you. I'll see you at the window. Thanks. Many of y'all ask about why I don't get a cold brew. I don't get the cold brew. Usually I get an iced coffee or an iced green tea. Um, I don't get the cold brew because there's so much caffeine. I'm already, I'm already caffeinating myself enough, so I don't get the cold brew simply because of the caffeine factor. Um, be mindful of that if you're drinking that. It's a ton more caffeine, or maybe you want that, uh, than a regular iced coffee or an iced tea. If you found this video helpful, there's applesauce right there. Um, pork chop and applesauce would love it if you'd click like and subscribe with the bell notifications and get my free keto meal plan down below if you want to see all things keto, all things intermittent fasting. See you guys in the end next time. Bye guys.